So now let's make a list in Google Keep. And we're going to go to that same place at the top, kind of the middle, that says take a note. But you'll notice there's some icons here. I'm going to select the one that says new list. And then it's going to start me with a list. Now what makes this different than just a note is there's going to be check boxes for each of the listed items. So this could be a task list. This could be a to do list. Um, so that's what we're going to use that same kind of meeting theme that we were going with before. We're going to say meeting tasks and then we're going to add a list of items attached to the idea of to do's for that meeting that we're planning. So maybe we confirm the venue. Maybe we order food. Maybe we invite attendees. Print agendas. So you can see as I add each one, I get a checkbox. Now I have the ability to move these around. So if maybe I want to get my numbers first before I order food, I could switch the order of those. I also, if I hover over any of these list choices, I can come all the way to the right hand side and use that X to delete them. So let's pretend like I am working through this list of things. I've already confirmed the venue, so I'm going to go ahead and check that off. And when I check something off my list, it goes to the bottom, it gets marked through, and it is now classified as a completed item. And so that's an expandable list that I can see which items are completed, or I can just leave it to number up the number of completed items. Now, another feature that's really helpful is this little guy right here in the top right hand corner. This is the pen. And if I pin a note, that simply means it's going to stay at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that note. I'm going to close it. And now it's pinned in its own little category. So let's say I am really working on this upcoming meeting and I need everything around this upcoming meeting to be easily accessible. I can come back to this agenda that we were building collaboratively. I can pin that note and then it's going to be at the top. So any of the items I have pinned, I'm going to see first and then I can scroll down to see all of the others. Now, as I use these, complete these, once this task, these tasks have been completed, once this meeting is over, I can always unpin. I could use this button to archive. This is something that maybe next year when we plan this event again, I w might want to revive. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and archive those because that event is over. When I need to find them again on that left hand menu, I can look at what notes I've archived. Then I could always send them back to that active note space if I want to reuse them. So I also, into the three more buttons, have the option to make a copy. So let's say this meeting from this year I archived, but I want to start already with kind of a template. I could use my three buttons, make a copy, and then I would have a new version to start working from back in my notes. So here's the copy that I just made. So lots of flexibility in the use and the creation of the notes and the lists.